The PLC latch program, or latch rung, shows the three most common PLC programming instructions. This is the PLC program called a latch. What does it do? Each symbol in the PLC program does something, which was explained in previous videos. A, B, and C are instruction addresses. Each is the address of one memory bit that contains a zero or a one. All of this is in the PLC program and memory and does not necessarily have anything to do with external input devices such as switches, although it could and will in this example. Let's use two external toggle switches that are connected to the appropriate voltage which is not shown and also connected to the PLC input module. Notice that we have three A's now. External switch A, memory address bit A, and contact instruction A. And a good reason exists for giving them all the same name. When switch A is open and switch B is closed, zero should be written to memory bit A and 1 should be written to memory bit B. Memory bits A and B are written only one time during a scan cycle. The PLC program then reads memory bits A and B during program execution. Instructions A and B are called input instructions because they can be associated with external inputs A and B. Input instructions are placed on the left side of the rung. Instruction C is an output instruction. An output instruction is placed on the right side of the rung. Instruction C will write memory bit C with a 1 or 0 during program execution. And memory bit C is not necessarily associated with an external output device, although it could be and will in this example. Let's use one external light that is connected to the appropriate voltage which is not shown and also connected to the PLC output module. Notice we have four C's. External light C, memory C, coil C, contact C, and there's a good reason for giving them all the same name Contact instruction C reads memory bit C. Out instruction C writes memory bit C. Memory bit C causes light C to turn on or off during the output scan only. Now examine some possibilities. During input scan, Switch status is reflected in A and B memory bits. Assume memory bit C is zero initially. During program scan, each input instruction reads the memory bit and results in rung continuity from left to right. Instruction C writes a zero to memory C due to lack of rung continuity to instruction C. Memory bit C is zero, the light turns off. In summary, the three memory bits are zero, zero, zero. Now let's change, let's toggle switch B. During input scan, bit B changes. During input scan. During program scan, the result is the same continuity as before, except continuity is lost through instruction B. Not that it matters. Again, a zero is written to memory bit C. Light turns off because memory bit C is zero. Scan number two summary 
memory bits are 0, 1, 0. Can you complete the other possibilities in the order shown? Assuming one full scan for each row, and C retains the value from the previous scan, the latch rung is frequently used. A thorough understanding of this rung brings the beginning PLC programmer far up the learning curve.